for some reason Bob the hobo on point right here. What's he got? <laughs> nice OP take here by Leerald. Boom, one shot, one kill from him. JJ also pressuring from the opposite side. Uh, this is defensive though. Sylvie's making lots of ground here with a beautiful precision strike. Ooh, sneaky little. People are screaming out everywhere. Oh, that sounds so sick. Trying to destroy the panther right here. Ober's gonna have a hard time with that one, especially when he's hitting the front. fun with that one we'll come back in five minutes when he's still hitting that little fireworks show above the point nice to see uh axe is trying to hold on here 98 99 this might be the three two again allies coming back into this one really nicely let's try to hop back on board with a rusty coin again he's about to redeploy so when he does redeploy we'll hop back on board Nate's flying everywhere here. Leral pushing into a loop husky. Oh, but so is Gumi. All right, let's hop on board with Rusty. That MG's just got me again. Is that the guy that was close to the LP? Hear him again. There'll be somewhere oh, out there, I'd say. Another one over there as well. Yeah, we're losing already. Why has everyone left Panzer then? Because they would win. We're, we're fucking capping. Yeah, we're losing the point though. Oh. Cock. <laughs> Cock. Yeah, it's a classic word. It oh, describes no. everything you feel. Well, I'm not going to do it. Everybody's moved out. No Gary down. Ooh, Rusty goes down there. Here on the back side of Panzer's End, you can see the OP going up, trying to quickly get back onto artillery position. Now, can they hold this position for long enough so that they can use this to, ki uh, to kickstart the attack on the next point? We'll see. This is in the open right here. However, the Soviets don't have long-range AT. So, Ober's going to have to come take this one. Katusha Strike 
goes down again. It's going to be landing on Panzer's end. Let's see if we can get some mass connections. Oh, beautiful connection right there. Cannot save the point. However, on the backside, the garrison is going to be going down here. So that is a, at least a bonus. Now, Cubic on the flank over here going to be with uh, getting up a new garrison. I suppose. On the flank again, you can see another Panther coming out. Now back on the fourth point right here. Panzer's end secured for the Axis again. That was a nice Katusha strike, though. We've seen some... Some nice ones this game so far really nice one uh when the axis uh, so the allies did take the point yeah if you're just joining us apologies i think there was a little bit of corruption um on the pc i again i run a i run an old um i run an old pc and it overheats and i'm having trouble keep it cool so unfortunately this happens and it's probably gonna be happening more and more often um, if it keeps up like this, though, we might have to stop these streams um, as it just won't we won't be able to do it. But I'll try and fix the technical issues we're facing today and see if we can't uh, come back stronger in the future. Uh, right now on the flank of artillery position right here, Viet Sam's going to be the first one in to the trench. Is this the Panther Trench right here? No, this is a little further back than the Panther Trench. Ooh, taking out Dr. Moo right there. Picks up JS also. Not too bad. Who's he shooting at? Oh, it's going to be cold. Over the top. Ooh, nice. Viet Sam. Plane flying by there. Viet Sam still pushing into point. 70 meters outside of point. Bonsky on the flank here. Viet Sam going to lose his head to him. However, Xavier Kaysen, uh, Bill Ritter, Cubic, Kevin saying Cubic squad also pushing in here. So that's going to be tough for the allies to deal with right here. Nice takedowns from Cold Killer. Kind of just wondering where this pressure is coming from right now. Bombing run coming in on point. Unfortunately, only cold kill is there. Where is this going to land? Ah, it's coming up here on the defensive. Ooh, nice connections there for that bombing run. Oh, beautiful. Just absolutely clears the trench up. So that's a defensive bombing run there as the attack heats up right here. This might be the game. 37 minutes to go. Cold Kill is going to try to hold on as best as he can, but that's going to be a tough one. Takes a little duck dive right there. Cubic coming in on the attack also. We'll go on board with him. Help for now. Xavier pushing in the trench again. Let's see if we can't go to his perspective here. SCG-44 is out. He's tossed some nades down the trench. Probably some smokes. Nice. That's two. Oh. <laughs> Gets obliterated. I 
that was intense <laughs> Tenes just uh defending here from the allies do like loser's position right here in the bush Ooh, grenade gonna connect it is but i think the the body that was on the ground there took most of that blow be it sam loser pushing back in again Nade absolutely fly. Oh my gosh, what a beautiful nade right there. I think that was from Viet Sam. Oh man, that was intense. Let's see if they can do it. Cap race going on right now is being won by the allies, so. They're going to have to do something to stop this cap on the backside. It's going to be tough. And not a lot of blue over here on point. Too jazzy pushing in. About 50% cap progress for both sides. Who's going to win this cap race? This is for the game, ladies and gentlemen. So if we go wide here, I think... I think the Axis are in a better position right here. But I think e, the Allies are winning this one. And there it's stalled on the backside. So no, the Allies having the better position overall. More people spawning in on the backside on the attack. Uh, that's good news for the game. Now the Axis are also stopping this temporarily. I think when we see the spawns come back in and when Sasha, uh, Portal, Darcy kind of flood into point here, we'll see that cap stall possibly. Six can need to keep getting those takedowns though and gets more rotations into his squad right here. Attack, yeah, getting swarmed right here. Cubic thinking about maybe rotating his OP position a little bit. Trench battle not going so well for the Axis. Uh, Kreezu on the backside here should look to clean this one up. Ooh, he could get a lot of takedowns right here on this backside. Let's go on board. Pull that knife out. Why why go for the Prizu's first shot is gonna be is gonna be detected and everyone's gonna turn on him. Now he pushes away from the gunfire. Oh, that's unfortunate. Ivan's actually gonna double back now. Oh, and he goes down. He had a chance for three or four takedowns, even possibly some knives. Too bad to see that happening. Now, I do like the uh, Kubasu play. <laughs> put put an OP up in the bush right there. And just tell everyone to like hit the deck when you spawn in. Uh-oh. Wonderbar Marine. Wunderbar Marine. With the uh, PPSH from long range. He's not going to win that fight, though. Floats into the trench there. Just going to go for a little nap. How's it going, buddy? You doing well? <laughs> MGK spawning in. There's the OP in the trench with some smoke. Ooh, that's one way to telegraph your position. We're back to square, though, where we were before. 4-1 is the score. Panzer's end again. Uh, I wonder if we're going to see another Katusha strike here. Tim W pushing in. Bobo the Hobo also pushing in. Maybe get some nice Katusha connections here. Tim W is just waiting. And there it is. Like clockwork. Here comes a Katusha strike again. Ladies and gentlemen, let's see if we get any good connections on to Panzer's end. I'm, I'm not crazy, right? I did hear a Katusha strike go off. Maybe I'm crazy. I, th I thought I heard... Uh, Boop, 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 boop. No, I, I guess I'm hearing things. Gonna have to get that hearing checked. Uh, we'll go back down into the fight here. Ultra is crawling on his hands and knees across the field here. There's a Panther on one side, some Soviet infantry on the other. STG 44. Ooh. 
Oh no, Humpty Dumpty was not able to get that satchel on. Smoke goes out in front of the tank. I do like that, but it's going to be very tough, yeah, to push out of that position. Down goes the OP. Uh, pretty conclusively there. Now looking on the defensive for the allies, you can see they're getting pushed pretty hard. There's a lot of people behind the point, though. So they should be able to hold this one, uh, barring some kind of crazy bombing run. I think we're a little bit away from that timing just now. We can hop back on board with our POV streamer of the day, Rusty Coin. See if we can get another uh, knife kill like he did last match, last Friday. Beautiful knife takedown from him. How can they see me? How can they see me? The I got him, I got him. Over here. here. You're 100% brightness, that's why. Yeah, I'm also doing 200%. Oh, I'm not. Abuser. I can't see them, they can't see me. No. Enemy tank, sound. Guy in this trench, Rusty. Yeah, I got him. Hit him. Now, Rusty might have gone down, but he has some friends, Seven Drunk Seven and Jim Bag Jims, over here to help out on this plan. This is looking for like a beautiful bombing run candidate right here. A little low on the munitions. We have so much fuel. Why is there not like five Panthers breathing down this, this point? That's my question. Like 1,600 fuel. Let's just take a few Panthers, please. Half track gonna come out also. One tank out for the allies over here on the flank. Not enough munitions to make. I mean, we have artillery going off, and I have to assume that's gonna be. Yeah, this is uh, Kaislin on the Arty. I'd love to see that munitions count get a little higher there. The Arty's really not doing anything to these tanks. Love to see a bombing run down this trench right here. And potentially some friendly tanks coming out. Uh, if I was commander, I'd be like, yo, you want to take a tank? It's free. Be like, Oprah, you get a tank. You get a tank. You get a tank. Take the tank, you know? Why not, right? At this point, you guys got 1,600 fuel. Might as well pull, pull one of those tanks out, whip it out, and, and have some fun with it. Good old Happy. Another push coming in from the Axis. I think the Allies will be able to hold this one. As soon as the Axis... This is the issue with smoke in the middle here, ladies and gentlemen. Look at the smoke. This is not good smoke. It's in between both sides. So anybody who crosses it is just going to come out of the smoke and be exposed. The only way that this works is if you get to the edge of the smoke or the middle and you toss another onto the point where you want to go. Uh, get that smoke onto the enemy position so they can't see and so you can push onto their position without them seeing it. Davey are climbing ever closer to the trench right here. SCG-44 in hand. Let's crawl with him. See what he can do here. Is he gonna go for a satchel possibly? I mean a satchel would be pretty cool in this position. I think friendlies are a little too close. Thirty year old boomer. Oh he does go for the satchel and he's gonna push on back of it. Fortunately he does go down here. I don't think the satchel's actually close enough to hit anybody right now where they're at, unfortunately. A little bit of a scouting plane coming down. We have no munitions. That artillery is just eating up all the munitions. I'd be, I'd be telling him to get off that. <laughs> He's not really doing much on the arty, to be honest. I mean, yeah, not much at all. 
The axes are capping here, though. What one arty strike in this game would be over right now, too. Not arty strike, sorry. Uh, um, bombing run. That's the word I was looking for. AT gun for Panda coming out, ricocheting the shot off of the Soviet heavy. Ooh. That's payback right there. <laughs> Down goes the AT gun. Your dad's gonna try to repair. Oh, what a frag! Beautiful takedown with the pistol. You're dead. Cap progress coming in. Not enough to finish it off right now. Lots of spawns coming in. And again, still no. What? Who is this? Who is this? Kaislin? Kaislin, if you're watching, you're just, I don't know, you, you're not really doing much for the amount of uh, munitions you're using there, buddy. Xavier, on the other hand here, did he put down another Sancho? No. Ooh. Ah, come on, Xavier, you got this. Ah, nice defending with the PPSH. You can just hold down that trigger forever. Uh, sick pushing in. Basically a line attack coming in here. And it's not working for the Axis because they have lost their back point. We're going to be going back to 3-2 here with 20 minutes to go. Ooh, Katusha strike coming in. Where are those impacts going to land right here? Oh, some nice impacts on the Katusha. Enough to at least break up the attack. You can see big redeploys on the backside here. I don't know how, but it seems like the Soviets completely missed the garrison in the middle of the point. They pushed from the backside of the point to the front, and they completely missed the garrison here. Humpty Dumpty's fighting a losing fight right there. Artillery dropping on the Gary. They replaced that one. I mean, there's a Soviet tank here too. I think the Soviet tank actually got the garrison. It's too bad they weren't looking at it to uh, to take it out the first time, though. I mean, with 22 minutes to go, we're right back to square one again. Uh, I mean, sick ass is here. Sasha is here. If I was in the shoes of these two squad leads, I'd be looking for a bush to hide in. Go into a bush, hide. No need to fight off of this one. As a squad leader, it doesn't really matter your KDA. I know people like maybe uh, in DC will disagree with me and say KDA is all that matters. And yeah, it's it's important to be able to take people down. Uh, I don't know. I would take for one player, maybe not my primary, but my secondary squad leader in an offensive squad, maybe the second offensive squad. If he if he could 100% guarantee an uptime on a on an OP, but he was in the bottom third of shooters on the team, I would start him every game. Wouldn't care. There's there's players like that that are that are that are it, some things are worth more than uh just a KD. Now if that same player was up against somebody who maybe didn't always get the OPs up 99% of the time, but could win every single fight and would go 101 in a game, obviously it's a no-brainer. I think guys like, uh, you know, Crusader comes to mind from Core, by the way. I think there's a few Crusaders out there now. Um, you watch him play, and he will consistently get OPs into spots that will be threatening for the team. He'll get, he's like a little snake. He'll squiggle through the lines, find a spot that's open, get the OP up, and he's a pretty decent shot, too. But that, that offensive OP and the ability for the core shooters to be able to, to fight off that one is, is one of the things that was really an advantage for the team. <clears throat> now, they have lost recently, and this is this is something that's interesting. That there, obviously, some players have, have left core, too. Um, as, as time goes on, people people change. People 
people want to maybe uh, be in a less competitive environment or they, they have friends, whatever, whatever reason, doesn't matter. Um, Core does gain some more players, though, just the other day getting some people from, um, trying to remember who, <laughs> Tim, <laughs> Tim, <laughs> going for a ride. <laughs> he's not even on the back, he's on the side. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. Precision Strike dropping on the western side here. Not going to take out the heavy. That's a little rough there. Tim go does go down, and so does the Panther. All right, so Tim goes down, the Panther goes down, the Precision Strike misses here 19 minutes to go in this one. Ah, yeah, like I was talking about, so WTH has taken two games recently off of core. I don't think WTH is the strongest team, though, because they did lose in, in some very important games. I mean, early on, right? They lost to some teams that they probably shouldn't have lost to um looking a while back but and also like teams like it's it's weird how it works at the top of hella loose like i think core we can still confidently say is the best team in hella loose overall wth is up there wth lost to the greyhounds which got spanked by core but wth beat core like it's it's a weird triangle that we kind of go or circle that we kind of go around go around go around and it's hard to determine who's the top now you can you can look at things like the, the HLL ELO, yes, no, not really. It doesn't, it's not It's not there yet. It's not really an accurate portrayal of, of teams, especially with the, a lot of the rules and uh, the way they judge the, the games. Um, I don't think it's quite there yet in, in accurately portraying who's the best, um, especially because, you know, you, you have a lot of games where there's like 10 people from the team or 15 and you got to take all that out in consideration. You can't, you can't judge um, any team based on anything that's like a combined performance, unless it's like a team that always operates in that way. For instance, let's say um, an example, the team that's no longer playing together, but BST 2501 for a year and a half, they were playing, or I don't know if it was a year and a half, a long time, they were playing together as one and they should have been rated as one team. Right now we have like WD44 Phalanx. They should be rated as one team, any team, that plays the majority of their competitive games together should be rated as that one team. And then when they come back as a new, you know, they can have maybe uh, a new ELO assigned to them. This whole like 25 to here, 15 to here, blah, 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 blah. It doesn't work at all. It just doesn't work. Uh, Katusha is going to drop a uh, misclick maybe. Boys, what are we attacking right here? I, I have no clue, but that was a complete misclick coming out from the allies commander considering there's a, a huge circle of yeah weird very weird anywho uh tank pushing back in after repairing here lenality stoom and you're dead pushing in or er dead as people say i don't know why people call him er dead it's clearly you're dead maybe Uh, interesting news out of PBS, though. Apparently, they're going to be coming back and blank some competitive, which is nice to see. They didn't uh, register in time for the ECL, and I would love to see them be able to to jump into one of the team spots that have left the ECL. I think uh, if we got some teams to agree to that, that would be interesting. Give them maybe a median, um, a, a median uh, score or points. Maybe take over the other team's points um, and play. I think that would be good for for the league. Maybe we'll we'll see that. That's a suggestion I should probably make to the ECL Orga and to uh, and to uh, the PBS reps. I mean, wh why not? It's another team. It's more competition. It's more games. I would be for it as as a caster. Of course, I'm not in the Orga or part of uh, or part of any team participating. So. It is what it is. Uh, Axis on the back foot right here. 
Uh, looking over at artillery position, and if we check the map really quick, we can see some... Finally, they've gotten off their own arty position, and we're starting to build some um, munitions up. Manpower is a little low, too, but uh, we do see some cypher here, Kevin's side, with the supplies. About 100. Yeah, so he'll be able to put a Gary up. That's going to be a frontline blue Gary. Ooh, someone's DMing me on Discord. I don't know why uh, that's coming up with the noise, considering that we have streamer mode on. Apologies for that one. We do have a POV stream going on tonight. We're going to hop on board with him right now if we can. It is uh, Rusty Coin here. Last week he had a really nice knife play. Let's see if he can uh, equal that one. He's pushing out of the trench here. He's going to be fighting Cavinson or Kaysen, sorry. Kaysen's rotated to artillery here. Let's hop on board with him. Got one here. Wonder if it's just oh, that's a uh, surprise. Right. Good spot. Very good spot. There's no carry here. No, under. Uh, more to the north. Fox uh, yeah. Able, they're dropping supplies to your east. Can you see them? Oh yeah, I can see them. Yeah, he's got visual. He's gonna sort it. Yeah. Oh, there's supplies over here. Uh, who's supplies? What? Oh. Monsieur oh. Dronke. My boy. Oh. Is so that you shooting? Yeah, I got him. Uh, oh, fuck. To my left. Across the road. Yeah. To my yeah. Over here. I literally oh, just yeah, saw I see him. him. Got him. Rusty does go down. We're about 13 minutes to go in this one here. Uh, this Kursk night battle. Meek, we're going to throw some lead into that truck. Rusty coming back in. These guys are on the wide defense here of the last point, which is uh, right there, artillery position. A bombing run's going to drop here. I think it's going to be dropping straight onto this gaggle of infantry right here. Oof. Oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> Goodbye and good night. There goes the... Uh, there goes the Axis push, or the Allied push, right away. However, it doesn't take out the spawns now. Calbent's going to need to push this one. Beep, 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 beep. I wish the, uh, that would pop up a lot further away, like over here, so we could see where the OPs were. <clears throat> the distance right here you see this this should be visible like here it should be like any other person just that little op all the ops all the tanks they really need to improve that in that view distance i think would really add a lot to the uh the production in the cast oh nade comes in oh that's an interesting nade right there loser with the nade oh yeah loser <laughs> <laughs> that's a that's a winning nade if I've ever seen one. Oh my gosh. That was beautiful. Down goes the OP. Uh ten minutes to go here in this one. Now the there's a garrison. There's gotta be a garrison further back over here. Samos Higai. Is it further afield? Oh there we go. No, that's not it. Where is this garrison? Oh, it's right here. Uh huh. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. So right in the corner, essentially. 
I'm surprised we haven't seen any defenders pushing over here, like the medium, looking for this one. Um, corners of your your points are the most common places you see those Garys go out. Uh, people think, oh, the corner, that's exactly where I want to put it. I mean, it is the furthest away, and it gives the best chance and ability to spawn in. Little interesting fight here. No dice, Xavier. It's like a 3v15 right here. Xavier does go down. No dice going to toss a nade out. Ooh! <laughs> the arm goes flying off the top on that one. Wendigo helping out. Wendigo, the friend ego, helping out to defend on the backside. However, Kevin Sai has snuck through behind the lines right here. Now, the cap progress has stopped. We've gone for some smoke on point. I wonder if we're going to airhead the point itself. That would be an interesting play right there. Ever tried to put an airhead in these trenches? Um, if it's possible, that would be a really cool play too. Kevin Sai for now is just chilling. Where's the OP though? No OP going up. That's unfortunate. He needs to rotate his OP a little closer here. Uh, if he wants to really pressure the point hard. Now Patrick's going to be in a 1v1 right here. Ooh, nice win there from Kevin Sai. Nine minutes to go right here. Uh, cap progress is stalled. I like this rotation over to the possible OP or garrison. I don't see it. Oh, it's right there. Oh, important takedown there also. Kevin Sai doing some work. Where is his OP? He needs to rotate that OP. Now, the garrison's further afield here. If Kevin Sai can get this OP up and get a few more takedowns here, this would be a really big play uh, to end this one. Oh, bad decision there to go after Hegel. Nobody really was looking this way for Kevin Sai. Now, the fact that he missed those shots, are they really still not going to push down to him? No, don't let me, don't, he doesn't get away with this, does he? Three of them aren't pushing down to this. Nobody's nading. Hegel's pushing further afield. 30-year-old's not, oh my god, they rotate away from this. What kind of Jedi mind tricks are you playing, Kevin Sai? They just left. He shot like, like five bullets at them, and they just all left. Oh no, 30-year-old Boomer's going to come back to check in with this one. All right, that's good. Unfortunately, Kevin Sai still hasn't rotated his, his OP. He could have put it over there and then held a tight angle. He's going to take out Boomer, I think, here. Yeah, Boomer goes down. Kevin Sai really needs to rotate his OP. Let's see. Oh, AP mine. Oh, that's a nice spot right there from him. I did not see that one. Is there anybody on the backside? No. Yeah, go for the OP. A little late on the rotation right here from Kevin Sai. He's waiting for the spawn wave to come in again. Google's going to fall back. Uh, let's rotate over to this Katusha strike. Oh, danger close. Flippo Flop and Dong Rap are already in the trenches right here. So is Seven Drunk Seven and Jim Bag. Oh, that was a direct hit on top of this thin, flimsy piece of wood here. Viet Sam and Forrest Gump are so lucky. Yeah. Don't want to go down that trench. Mr. Hanky off the backside? Oh, he can't get in. <laughs> Is he going to drop down right in front of them? He sh oh, he gets shot, though. Forrest Gump and Viet Sam. Who's got a nade? Nade's coming out. Grenade rain. Humpty Dumpty's going to put an AP mine there. They are, they're all peeking along. Nobody knows they're right there. <laughs> Oh my gosh. There we go. Yeah, they're there. One down. Two down. Enar Lung. Good shooting right there from him. As it looks like the allies are coming back in this one at the end of this. Yeah, again, if you're if you're just watching, joining into the stream, wondering where the start of the stream is, we're having some technical difficulties. Um, I mean, it's it's not it's hardware, it's not software. 
Um, my my streaming PC is overheating now, and it's um, it's not working uh, as optimally as it used to. It's very very hot over here. If anyone wants lunch, I think we could just put you know put it on the grill right here and start cooking away. Um, gonna try to to fix it up here and see if we can't get it working again. Uh, as the allies do take the three two five minutes to go. Three minutes and 25 seconds to start capping over here. Where's the airhead? I want an immediate airhead play onto the mid. Space Pig and Rostas over here. On point. Ultra defending with Paraparas. Paparas. Apologies. Was that an AP mine going down? I think that was. Nice. Paparas over here. Defending well. Big respawn wave coming in. This garrison in the backside of mid with four minutes to go. I think the allies might have a good shot at actually taking this point. Uh, spawning on, on the attacks can be cold killer. Uh, don't see any more squad leads here. That's, uh, that's unfortunate considering there's like three... 12 spawns only one squad lead so that's only a, a 12 initial attackers but only six follow the spawns into point oh panther coming from behind and be playing whack-a-mole in the field misses the garrison completely here what what is what is the panther doing there's infantry in front of you all oh, and the one squad lead goes down no oh man i mean tim w on the opposite side here smart play from him into point so there is still a potential of six on point now that is not that is not cap potential, but I mean, I don't think the Axis really have anything over here. So uh, it could well be now. Is there any bombing runs left over? I mean, unless there's a bombing run right, right now with an airhead response from the Axis, possibly, I'm not, this flank doesn't work either. So Garrison gonna be going down over here. Jimbag's gonna be looking for that Garrison placement. I think this is gonna be the game. The allies at the end of this one uh, pull a crazy little rotation out of the uh, the bag right here. Now the Panther doesn't know about the garrison on the backside right here. The garrison, it just, it's nighttime. They can't see it. They, they came in at, at too much of an angle to see it. It's hidden behind the, uh, the half track right here. Now this is possibly an airhead for the allies, I'm thinking. It, it would make sense for them to smoke here and then airhead in. Bombing run coming. Sorry, not a bombing run. This is going to be a... Uh, a strafing run coming in. That's smoke. And this is going to be with two minutes to go. An allied point. Wow. I mean, the Alex is trying to smoke, uh, come back into this one from the west side. Now, 50 seconds on the clock. <laughs> the Axis can come back and win this one, but it's going to be harder. Uh, harder. I mean, easier said than done. That's what I was going to say. Uh, I was looking at Kevin's side over here on the flank, like yeeting into point like a madman. Yeah, that's not going to work out for him. I wish he would have got an OP up because nobody closed that down. Nobody closed that down. That OP would still be up right now. Hegel, you know, went for the takedown. If he had just got that OP, he probably would have had a rotation in now. I mean, that's going to be hard to pull off. As you can see, the uh, supplies drop in the background here. Uh, but with nine seconds to go, the allies are going to win this one. This is going to be the three, two for the allies here. Uh, right at the end of this one, pretty much all game they were losing. They come back at the end and win it. Uh, I mean, props to the allies. Good job. Good, good job for the recon to get that uh, that garrison set up. And yeah, it's official. The allies can win this one three, two. Ah, that's crazy, man. That's crazy. I did not expect that coming into this one. Uh, it looked like we were less than, we were like 20 minutes into this one and the Axis were going to win. But for the Allies to come back and take it, I mean, hats off to them. They did a really good job right here. Uh, yeah, GG well played, everyone. If you guys, again, if you're just tuning in and you want to know why there's some portion missing of the game, my uh, my streaming PC is overheating. I think we're going to do a, try to do a, uh, a goal, a drive goal for donations and see if we can't uh, get a, build a new streaming PC. I've entered like four contests. Uh, for new PCs, and we'll see if we don't win that, we'll do a we'll do a drive and see if we can't get a new PC here. And uh, oh, think of ideas we can we can we what interesting things can we do? Uh, 
to raise some funds for that. We're looking probably for nothing like crazy that's gonna it's gonna be too too expensive. Um, probably a tower though I'd say a tower would make more sense because the inputs on the uh, the laptop are getting a little out of hand right here. Um, I'm using all of them plus an, a, an extender or a four-way splitter uh, too. So we'll look to uh, fix that up and uh, yeah maybe have a, a, a a streaming PC that doesn't overheat so that we can cook things on it. Uh, 30 minutes to go anyways. Uh, this has been PBS Fight Night. We'll be back on the weekend. Uh, fingers crossed uh, if we can sort this issue out for the ECL. But that's going to be on the BerserkCast channel. Um, you can find the links down in the panels below. Also, just type in BerserkCast, B-E-R-S-E-R-K-A-S-T-S -E -E into YouTube, and it'll be the first thing that pops up, or even Google, I believe. Uh, yeah. Thank you again to PBS. Thank you to Rusty Coin for streaming his POV. We'll be back tomorrow with some ECL action. Uh, the 3-2 surprise victory, the comeback victory uh, for the allies on this one. That was a good game. That was a really good game. Uh, good ending. Some interesting moments there. The Katusha strike was beautiful. Uh, Viet Sam with some nice plays there. Uh, nice, uh, nice riding the Panther to give intel. It's hard to see tanks at night, so it was nice to ride the Panther there, and he went down. Um, Linality Storm and your dad making good work on those uh, those those Soviet heavies. Uh, yeah, that's all I got for you guys. We'll be back tomorrow with the ECL action on the Berserkcast channel. I hope you guys have a great Friday and a great night. And uh, yeah, we'll end it there. Have a good one. See you guys.